there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball joint doll and craft related content. Today is face up time. So we recently got the dolls in from the first holo pre-order and uh, we're gonna do the face ups. So uh, in Procreate, I've gone ahead and just like layered out what I want to do by layer, obviously. Also, sorry if you can hear my dishwasher. I'm doing this upstairs so I have a big table to work on. Um, and unfortunately, there's a dishwasher and a squishmallow. We're gonna yeet him. I'll just put him there. <laughs> but yeah, so I have a few heads to paint. I actually don't have any in this color, which is funny. But, um, ooh. Okay. But I do have a bunch of dolls to paint. So I went ahead and gave these the old triple spray um, yesterday. Uh, because I anticipated starting this morning. So they've been triple sprayed and set, uh, so they should be nice and grippy and they should pick up all the color, should be a good time. I know you're about to say that's crazy, but I'm about to paint them all at the same time. Um, I'm going to do them layer by layer and I really want consistency, sorry. So that's why I'm doing it like this. So um, how I've mapped this out is I can turn off all the other layers. This is my first layer. Um, it's my undertone layer. So it's uh, yellows, pinks, and blues. Um, that's what we're gonna start with. So that's going to be chalk pastels. Um, <laughs> how do I show? Okay, so we're gonna pull one at a time because that's overwhelming. Um, I guess I'll start with the purple ones and in particular, this purple one. I did have some people ask about custom face-ups and yeah, that was not the jam for me. But, oh my God, cat fights. All right, so I guess I'll lay down the yellow first. So I'm gonna lay the yellow and now I'm gonna lay the blue. So I'm just gonna go in with this like powder dusty blue, and this can come out a little too saturated, so I'm just gonna knock a little off. Uh, I'm gonna do it on the other colors just so you can kind of see what it looks like on the other colors too but this is my first layer and then I'll set this one to the side for spraying. I am using a slightly darker pink on the um, mint resin because it's a little because uh, when I put pink on blue it doesn't show up or like green or whatever it doesn't show up as well as it does on like purple for example um, so you have to use a bit more of a saturated color to get the same effect the yellow or the uh, the mint and the purple. I'm gonna do one of the yellows. I'm not painting any um, willows. I'm a little surprised. Um, it's it's all the fantasy colors. So I mean that's I mean that's really fun for me. So yeah. Um, okay. So for the yellow on this one, because she's already yellow, the yellow's not gonna show. So instead, I'm gonna use like a bit more of an orange yellow mix for the same spot. I don't know if it's picking up, but yeah. Um, I might add a little more blue to this. Although, um, I think it just cause, it, uh, actually it looks pretty good. It just cause it's like warm. It's a more warm tone, but. All right, I'm back. And we have some cured hollows. Um, I think they look pretty cute. Uh, we got a couple different ones. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, they've been sprayed. The sealant has set they are ready for their next layer um, so let me just pull up the next layer so this is the next layer um, so I'm blocking in the brows and improving the blushing in this layer I'm also going to pencil in the eye creases so that's what's happening um, and a little more blush obviously on the tips of the ears so this is just going to be a pink and brown layer basically so I'm gonna grab the lady. I wish I could keep that on, come on. 
your stomach. Okay, so I'm going to block in the brows. I also have um, an eraser here because, yeah, um, might need a couple tries. So I've got my brush and I'm gonna just block them in brown. Everyone's getting brown brows, but I'm gonna try and make them not very dark so that everyone can kinda do their own thing. Like if they want a blonde wig or whatever. So when I block them in, I just kind of tap the pastel. And I want this blush to feel like it kind of travels across the nose, not just on the nose and then on the cheeks. So I'm gonna press it on like that. Where's my blend brush? Uh, be careful not to blend the eyebrows. Uh, yeah. So then, yeah, it just becomes a game of like adding and taking away until you get, because this is like the bulk of the blush that's going to go on. There might be, I might add a little bit to even it out if there's like, if I'm finding one's not as saturated as the others later on. But um, this is going to be the, ah, the bulk of um, the blushing I paint, so. All right, again, so that's this layer. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones now. Um, I'll be back and show you what it looks like on the different colors. So this is what um, ooh, the second layer looks like on the Webster color. We haven't even got to eyeliner or anything, but we'll get there. We will get there. And then this is what it looks like on Wesley. So yeah, same face up, same placements, um, you know, just different colors. And then I have a whole bunch of purple. So again, uh, you can see a purple one here. Oh my God, they're so cute. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go spray these and I'll be back in a, in a hot minute because you gotta, let, you gotta let the sealant cure and hang out. All right, um, it's now time for layer three. Layer two is cured and what we're doing, the old reference is um, we've, ah, don't do that. We're adding eyeliner this layer, which I'm really excited about. Um, the lines for the eyebrows, lashes, um, and a focus on getting the lips the color they need to be. I think this is the layer where we're gonna start really seeing a character come out because right now we're still really looking at, excuse me, Oh my God, stop it. At this layer, oh baby. Um, so I'm really excited to do the eyeliner. Um, eyeliner is also the most tedious part, I think. Um, sometimes I get it right on the first try and sometimes I'm like, I have to go so slow. But yeah, we're gonna get started with liner. Um, I think I'll start with this one I just touched. So yeah, we're doing brows, liner, lashes, and lips. Uh, that should do it honestly um for the brush pens and uh yeah so let me take this little friend i'm just gonna line the edge of the eyes first not so much on the outside so it's like it's coming back down to the eye but not super it doesn't have to come down super straight it's the shape on one side that we're going for all right, let's match up the other side. After one face up, please. And then I'm gonna take the brown and do the brows. So I've got the brows blocked in already. So I just have to follow the lines, which I know that sounds so easy, but really in reality. Um, and I'm just going to... Actually quite like that one now. <laughs> The first one always comes out like perfect and then it's like, okay, now I have to make the other one. I have to make the other one match. <laughs> the tail needs to not go down so much. And lips we're doing, oh, and lashes. Lips and lashes. Okay. Ugh, lash. Okay, we're gonna come back to the lashes. Lashes stress me out. Um, this is also the layer where I'm going to do the inner eyes. So I'm taking my darker pink and I'm just, light pink and this is where I'm going to add 
a little bit more <clears throat> of a lip color. So what I'll tend to do with this one is um, I'll put it on and then promptly dab it out. I don't know why, but this technique um, gives me like a nicer gradient. All right, and slightly lighter brown because that dark, that dark, dark one is making me a little nervous. Um, I'm just gonna take the lighter brown. Okay, so um, I can show you a mint one. I'm about to seal them. So this is the mint one. I actually really like, this is the step where I'm like, ah, it is coming together. Um, and then I have a yellow one. I try not to touch them too much because they're not sealed yet. Yeah, I think they're they're coming together. Um, so I'm gonna seal them. Did I show the purple one? I don't even know. All right, we're back. I call this layer finishing touches. Um, so they're all cured up, looking cute. All right, so this is the final steps part. I have two Wesleys and a Webster that are gonna need lashes. So I'm gonna do those after I push them to the side. Um, these five babies here, you can't see them all, are all getting the standard treatment. So they've had their three layer face ups and now I'm going to do um, gloss. So I've got my um, Mod Podge Super Gloss, which is what I use, and I have a nice clean gloss brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and I apply my gloss. This stuff's thick, so you have to like brush off a lot of it. Um, I'm going to do, I'm trying to make it so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna line the lips. I really find this livens up the doll's face. I'm not entirely sure uh, what it is about just adding a little gloss to the crease, but it, yeah, it like brings the face up alive, I find. But yeah, I'm just gonna do that for all of these guys. And then same thing on the other ones, but I'm gonna add lashes. So I'll be back and I'll show you them all done. All right, um, so the gloss just has to dry. So the, okay, so the gloss just has to dry. Um, here's one with eyelashes. Her eyelashes are very short and little. Um, because she has a rounded eye shape, lashes are pretty interesting on this face sculpt. They look cute and long from above. I'm really into them. Um, on this one, like the ones without the lashes, you can see the eye lines a little better. The gloss is super cute. But yeah, uh, I'm really excited for these to cure and I can get them ready to go to their people. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see them all styled. I think they turned out great. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.